everyone, welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and reviewing BYND, which was the golden gap for the month of June. Really just fantastic moves in this stock. And again, a lot of times I get this question, how much money do you need in order to day trade the golden gap? Well, it depends if you're doing options or equity trades, but all of these trades that I'm reviewing here were options trades. So the minimum requirement to open an options account is $2,000. So that is what you would need in order to have done these trades. So I'm gonna go through the risk in each trade and then obviously the trades themselves. But if you did all of the trades, all but one were winners. Only one loser in this stock this entire month of June uh, and the rest were winners. Some really nice moves in this BYND. <coughs> Excuse me. Total profit for a beginner trader if you risked a beginner amount, which again, we're gonna go over in one stock and one ticker symbol, $12,530. There are many, many times I call moves and stocks and things that, that can go like this. And so that's why it's a benefit of being on the options letter. If you'd like to watch me on Fox Business and Fox News, I'm on a lot talking about the market and talking about my stock picks as well. You can also email me at melissathestockswoosh.com if you have questions or call me at 929-3200-GAP and follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So I focus each day on one specific stock usually, sometimes more than one, but it's really all based on one strategy and it's my strategy on golden gaps. So it's very important, I think, to be focused if you wanna make money in the market. A lot of people lose money in the market, why? Because they're not focused. They have absolutely no focus at all and I'm very focused on what I do. So how do you make money trading gaps? You look and you qualify the gap based on the rating system. So that's what I teach in the Golden Gap course. Here was BYND. This was June 6th. They had earnings at night, boom. Gapped up in the morning on the 7th, followed through on Monday, fell then on Tuesday. So I called the BYND call, strike 138, expiring 614 on that Friday. It was the day after the earnings. It was late in the day. If you bought one contract for $7 with $700, sold for $12, profit was $500. bucks. 71% return investment, just getting in and getting out. It moved very fast. Then I said to do the same trade a second time later, cost $9 as it was moving, and then holding into the Monday, you could have made $2,600, risking $900, a 289% return investment. And again, this is a really nice move for this stock. It's had a lot of volatility. Here was a letter where I said you could book the first one and retake the first trade. And then I called the 141 calls, 614 expiration, okay? Cost 880, number of contracts one, risk 880, and sold 35, profit 2,620, return investment 208, 298%. So again, this was taking the 141s Friday and exiting them Monday. And then on Monday, I called another one, the 150s. And this moved, didn't even have to call it out for the 21st, it moved immediately. Cost was 14, again, Monday trade, sold 29, profit 1,500. Beautiful, 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 beautiful move, okay? When you're taking a trade and you're getting in and you're getting out, you wanna get the move quickly, okay? You wanna get in, you wanna get out. You wanna get in, you wanna get out. That's how you're gonna make money trading, okay? Very, very, very important to book it, book it, book it. Sometimes it moves in a couple of minutes, sometimes it moves in the live day, sometimes, it moves the next day, like BYND did both, okay? So you set your targets and your profit goals, and that's the right way to do it. Then as this was going and opening into it, I called the 160s, and again, really nice move, 1440 cost, sold 22, profit 760, 53% return investment, and the BYND calls for 180s, moved up, but then didn't have the follow through the next day like I anticipated, Cost 15, one contract, risk 1,500, sold one, profit was none. This was a loss. Unless, again, you got out of it that day, but I don't think anybody did. It really looked like it was gonna go straight to 200. It did, but then it took a couple of days. So anyways, here was this one here. Then there was some news that came out. Actually, no, it was an analyst downgrade, and then it fell here. Otherwise, this would have gone straight there. So that was just one of those situations. Anyways, called this again, and then it went up to the 200 I was expecting. The 162.50s and 165, I called on the 17th, ran right up, cost 10, one contract. Again, this is when it gapped up and opened at 200. Beautiful move, return investment 200%. And another one, again, two trades in the same day. You could have done two strikes, bought it, sold it, profit 1,700 with a risk of 1,300. 
And uh, I mean, this is just one contract. I mean, to be able to make $1,700 on one contract is phenomenal. Then I also call the 150-250s. And in this case, you see what this did here. So this one worked as well. Cost 11, one contract, risk 1100, profit 550, return investment 50%. And usually you'll see 50% to 100% for these options trades in the options newsletter. But sometimes you get these massive, massive moves. And in this case with the BYND, many of these trades were big. They do happen. It happened in Dizzy. It happened in a bunch of different moves. It's happened in the market. You, you just have to be in the trades in order to get them. You don't know when you're going to get it. But sometimes it gaps in your direction in the morning and the next morning, which is great. Here's the drop off here. Um, and I called the 157.50s out to 628. Cost was 350. Risk 700. Two contracts. Again, you could have made 900 bucks. Really nice move, really, really nice move. Follow through here. And uh, and then I called the 160s as well. <laughs> Just so many trades on this. $3 cost, sold seven, profit 800. Again, risking $600 and making $800 in one trade with two contracts is a nice, nice trade. So these are all beginner risks and there's a point to this Here's all the trades for the whole month of June, just in the one stop. Not all the trades in the letter, where there are many trades in the letter, but just all the trades in BYND, you could have made $12,530. So 11 trades, one loser, 10 winners. It's fabulous. And this was a fun one to do because of the volatility, because of the momentum. So $12,530 in one stock in one month with a beginner risk. If you want to work for yourself, if you want to become a professional trader, doing the options is a great way to dip your toes into it because you can do the options while you're working another job. You don't have to sit and babysit them because they're not like the day trades where sometimes we're in and out in one minute. These are trades you can put on. You still have to watch it. If it runs up in an hour, two hours, you want to make sure to get out like that BYN did in the Friday afternoon, the Monday. But you don't have to sit and be in the live trading room for this newsletter. And sometimes, like I said, it, holding them works longer. So the process for me is I get up in the morning, I rate the gap using the golden gap checklist. That's how I'm calling all these trades. I rate the gap. And I teach my method in a class. It's called the golden gap course. Class is July 13th and 14th, nine to five Eastern time. Cost of the class is $59.99 US dollars. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. And there's an annual subscription for the newsletter. There is not a monthly subscription. The trades are emailed to you. You would have gotten all the BYNDs. It's $49.99 for the year. If you want to sign up for this, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to me, email me again, or give me a call if you have specific questions that you uh, want to know something about the letter, how it works, or whatever. Again, you would set up your own options account and you can take whatever risk is based on your cash a balance. And that's what I suggest to people. That would be the number of contracts that you take. But the number of contracts you take per trade should be similar, close to similar to the risk, each one as far as the monetary risk. Any questions, reach out to me, email me. Have a great day, everyone.